So yes, it's 2024 and I literally bought my very first cell phone. Well, this is the first cell phone that I bought. So how many cell phones have you bought in your lifetime? Five? 10? 20? I've bought one just this year. Motorola invented the first handheld cellular mobile phone in but of course cell phones did not become popular until the 1990s and 2000s. And I remember everyone around me had a cell phone. Everyone was saying, why don't you get a cell phone? I wanted nothing to do with it. So I got through 2000 and it wasn't until 2011 that I was dating someone. We just started dating and he gave me an iPhone for my birthday. Well, I thought it was too extravagant. Plus I was scared of it. I said, no, I made him take it back. I'm like, no, I want no part of it. It was too fancy. No. So I was trying to live without a cell phone because to me, unless you are the prime minister or a real estate agent or a Hollywood actor, like you don't need to be reached every moment of your life. So to me, it's like, I'm not important enough to need a cell phone. I don't need to be connected all the time. But the thing was for my job, I was commuting a lot. Now, after I had Michelle, once I had a baby and I was driving, it's like, well, I do kind of wish that I had a cell phone just for emergencies when I'm driving. So there was a very nice girl at work and she had just gotten a new phone for her daughter. So she gave me her old, so this was my very first that I got free used Nokia uh, slide phone. It's pink, it's cute, just very basic. And that's all I needed. I just needed it for emergencies. So I had this from 2014 to 2016 and I mean, this came out in 2010, so it was already obsolete when it was given to me, but I made do because I just needed it for emergencies. So, you know, I would I could make calls and you could text, but I mean, you had to cycle through each letter because they're just on the numbers. So there wasn't a whole lot of texting going on, but that was all that it did. It couldn't go on the internet or anything fancy like that. Well, then in 2016, an acquaintance was upgrading their iPhone and they gave me their old iPhone 4. Now, this also came out in 2010. So I didn't get it till 2016. So this was like six years obsolete. And it was also given to me with a broken cord, which luckily I didn't get electro electrocuted, but... I still made this do for four years. This lasted me till 2020, but I did a previous video when there was one point where it wouldn't charge anymore. Like um, I was having problems with it, but I tinkered with it anyways. Long story short, I, I couldn't do anything fancy for a long time. I could only take pictures, I think, the first year or couple of years, and then I couldn't even do that. Didn't have apps or anything, so it was just for emergencies. But, I mean, it lasted me. So, and I mean, this was from 2010. I got it in 2016, and I made it last. But then in 2020, it just completely died. Like, just nothing, no signs of life. But I was home. We were in lockdown, and I didn't need a cell phone anymore because I wasn't going anywhere. I wasn't driving. So now fast forward to this year where I wasn't driving at first. I hadn't left my house in years actually, but then I just got my car back and I thought now that I'm driving, I do want to have a cell phone for emergencies, especially if I'm making a long drive. So my plan was I still didn't want to buy a cell phone. I still like this. I got free this. I got free. So this was the first cell phone that I was going to be buying, but I still got it almost free. So what I do, I buy groceries and I get points. I get optimum points with my groceries. Well, you can use them not just at grocery stores, but at uh, like Joe Fresh and Shoppers Drug Mart. So Shoppers Drug Mart has an electro home, home electronics section. And I actually got Michelle a laptop computer, a notebook for free with my optimum points. Because the great thing is not only you collect the points, but they have certain days where it's a bonus redemption. So like um, you're buying something for $300 and you only need 240,000 points, not two, not 300. So anyway, so I was waiting until I saved up enough points to get this because this was the only cell phone they had was the Samsung Galaxy AO3S. That is the reason I bought it because it was literally the only phone available on Shoppers Drug Mart. So 
it was uh, retailed for $190, so I thought I had to save 190,000 points. But they had one of those redemption bonus events, so I only needed 140,000 points to get the $190 uh, dollar phone. So it was just like $9 and I had to pay the tax. So basically for 30 bucks, I got the phone. So that was all great, except I was terrified to use it. I'm resistant to technology like this. At the time, this was a lot for me, and then this was way too fancy back in the day. So now this was like so intimidating. I, I, I was afraid to even take it out of the box. I actually didn't take it out of the box for a month. So what I did to prepare myself, because I have anxiety and PTSD, if you've seen other videos, you know that I have a hard time adjusting to new things. I don't like uncertainty and the unknown and I panic and blah, blah, blah. So what I did to get myself ready was I read the uh, manual online. I watched a bunch of videos that were uh, like introductory, how to use the phone, things like that. So before I even took it out of the box, I knew. But one thing I didn't know until I did finally open the box was that there's very little in here. Like we're talking just the phone and the little um, pokey thing to get the SIM card tray out and the cord, but no charger. Like, come on. You give somebody the cord and no charger? So I'm like, Ugh. anyways, I got the phone for almost free, so I can't really complain, but I did have to buy a power adapter thing. Now, and from reading the manual, it said you can only use Samsung products or, you know, you might destroy the phone. Of course, they're going to say that because they want you to buy their products. So I got this Samsung um, 25 watt energy efficient charger and I charged the phone. So, yeah, so I was a nervous wreck about using the phone and it's like I just wanted it for emergencies, just wanted it for basics, doesn't have to do anything fancy, but I, I was scared to do anything. So the steps were, um, first of all, I had to get the charger and then charge the phone. To me, it didn't take too long to charge, but um, the next time that I charged it, it did seem to me like it was taking a while to top it up. But the good thing about this phone is that it holds the charge for a long time. Like I can charge and it, it'll last for a week. So, because I'm not using it that much. I mean, I guess if you're using it more, um, then you have to charge it more, but yeah, the, the, it's got a big battery and it lasts a long time. What I, other things I like about this, I mean, I have no basis of comparison because obviously I haven't had a phone in a while, but um, to me, like it does the job, it's basic, it's entry level, it's a budget phone, like we're talking, um, it, it retails anywhere from like 100 bucks to like almost 200, but when you consider that the iPhones now, like what is it up to, iPhone 15, and they're thousands of dollars. And even when someone says, oh, well you get the phone for free, it's because you're locked into a contract where you're paying hundreds a month, so you wind up paying thousands of dollars for the phone, let's be honest. So my next thing was, okay, um, I have to decide what provider I'm going with because you have to get a SIM card and it's not just a matter of you buy a SIM card and put it in. No, it's a SIM card from a provider. So I'm like, I've had bad experiences with Rogers and Bell and this and that. Like I want someone completely different. Um, now what I did before when I had these phones, I had a pay as you go plan um, and I was with Petrocan Mobility. Well, apparently that doesn't exist anymore. I'm a creature of habit. I wanted to have the same thing, but no, it doesn't exist. Now it's good to go mobile. And I'm like, I don't know. It didn't really sound that great. Also, I wanted a plan that was very cheap. Like, you know, all these plan people are paying like $50 and $100 a month. I'm like, oh my God, no way. Um, so I wanted like what I used to do with the pay as you go. I'd pay $30. That would last me three months. So I wanted like $10 a month. Well, I couldn't quite get that, but I found TELUS. Now, Talus is a great mobile network, and really, like, there are all these little um, companies like Kudo and Chatter and, and all these things, but really, they're all owned by the big three, Bell, Rogers, Telus. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to give Telus a try because I know Bell and I know Rogers. Let's just something completely different because this is my, like, emergency phone. Now, I still have a home phone. I have a landline. Most people don't. I still do. But this is like for emergencies. So anyway, I thought tell us. I love their ads. I love the animals.
future is friendly, it's, it's cute. And they had a $15 a month plan, which is pretty dang good um, for what I need. Like it, just the basics, I think it's 100 minutes of talk and text, you know, and I, I don't even need that because when I use it, I'm literally just going to be saying, okay, I'm here or whatever, or if, you know, there's something that, an emergency that I need to call, I'm not going to be like talking away on it and I'm not giving anyone this number. Like I don't want anyone calling it. So anyway, I've been, um, I've been managing now. Um, I've got Ali's picture on there for my uh, wallpaper. I've got a couple of games on here, but I mean, I'm not doing too much with it. Um, now, some of the things that were in the manual kind of freaked me out. Like it talked about how it can overheat when you're charging, it can heat up or when you're using it. Like I've never had that. It has not heated up at all charging or using it, but I mean, I don't use it that much. Um, I've got a couple of games on here um, that were free. You know, you go and you get the ones that are free. Um, I've got Bookworm on here, which, you know, if I'm waiting for an appointment and I'm in the car, um, at least, you know, that's something I can do to buy my time. Um, and I've got a couple of games, like if Michelle, when she's on, in the car, when we're going somewhere on a long trip, if she wanted to play something, but nothing too fancy. Now the camera, I was kind of curious to play around with the camera because um, I, I heard that it has beauty effects. So it's got this like um, thing at the top here with beauty effects, like a little magic wand. So, but the thing is, okay, how am I going to show this? It's got, okay, face. So you can, it's got an eyeball. I don't know if any of this is gonna show, but it's got an eyeball. So you press on that and then you can make your eyes like really big. Which this is not working up because of the light, but this is not working. Um, and your jaw, you can make your jawline look smaller or something and can change the tone, smoothness. This isn't working right now because... Let me take a picture and then I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the picture. Why is it so dark? I mean, I, I don't look human, but anyway. I mean, you don't have to have those filters on. You could just have regular, but I mean, it doesn't even matter. I mean, the thing is like this phone, it's very basic, but that's why it's so cheap. And um, like, I don't need bells and whistles. I don't need anything too fancy. Like um, I literally just wanted it for emergencies. So yeah, I mean, for my purposes, it's fine. And um, So yeah, the phone itself only cost me 30 bucks, and then this charging thing was 30 bucks. I got a little, um, I got a little case, which was I think about 10 bucks, 10 or 15 bucks, um, which I mean it doesn't fit perfectly, but it's pretty close. I mean it's pretty good. But the weird thing is they've got slots in here as if you're going to put your credit cards and use it as a wallet. But I remember in the manual, another thing that freaked me out was it said you can't have it anywhere near credit cards because it has a magnet in it. And it can like, well, why would you put credit cards in if it's going to destroy your credit? But the other weird thing was in the manual, it said don't put it in your pocket because too much pressure could do something. Well, if you can't put it in your pocket because it's too much pressure and you can't put it around credit cards, so you basically can't have it in your purse, where are you supposed to put this thing? Like hovering in midair? But I mean, this is the other crazy thing. They give you a box like it's almost empty. Okay, there's almost nothing. So there's no manual. You have to look up the manual online and it's like a hundred... 116 pages or something and you're going through all this stuff and some of the things that they say oh my god like there's literally a point that says um we can you cannot help 
you cannot hold Samsung liable for any negligence re resulting in like injury, death or whatever. Like what? And then it says um, you can't count on any of the information contained here being accurate. Like what? But I mean, I guess they think no one's going to read the manual, especially they don't even give you a manual. They give you like just the phone and a cord and like good luck because it's it's a cheap phone. I mean, it's a budget phone, but for my purposes, like this is fine and um, I'm happy with it so far. Like I said, I, I'm not using it too much. I mean, I, I'm not even giving anyone this number, but I know for some people, like their cell phone is their everything. They use it as a computer because now smartphones and Android, which I used to wonder, what is Android? Like it sounds like a humanoid ro robot, but it's really just the operating system. So that phones now, like unlike in the past where a cell phone was really just like a phone, now it's like a little mini computer in a way because you have all these other uses, all these other applications that can go on the internet, can do all these things. So, but some people use their phone for everything. So they're going on the internet, they're, they're doing their media, whatever. They're using it as their main phone. Um, all these things, like I still have my laptop computer that I use to go on things like Twitter and YouTube and that. And I still have my home phone, I have a landline. I'm a dinosaur, what can I say? Um, so for me, the phone is just, you know, just basic. It's just for emergencies. But um, yeah, this is the first phone that I bought and it still was almost free with my points. Um, so yeah, I don't think um, shoppers, I, last time I looked on shoppers, they didn't have the phone or the notebook computer that I got before. They didn't have it anymore, but I was lucky enough to get them. So um, yeah, because when you're on a tight budget, like let's face it, inflation is terrible. I'm a single mom and I'm broke, so I try to save money any way I can. So yeah, I'm glad that I got all this set up. Um, I got the the nano SIM card from TELUS. It was $15 and that included, sh like shipping was free. They just send it in an envelope in the mail, literally. Um, and then you just pop it out and, and you put it in. And then $15 a month for my prepaid thing. And that's that'll do for me. So I mean, and there you go, and, and I'm, I'm done. And I mean, there's people paying thousands and thousands of dollars on phones. And apparently most people upgrade their phone every two to three years. Some people even upgrade every year. And there are even some people that upgrade every six months. Like, holy cow, imagine how many phones they will, like, this is it for me. This is all I've had. Um, but uh, I heard the statistics that there are 8 billion people in the world, but there are actually 18 billion phones. So most people even have more than one phone. Like maybe they have a home, um, they have a personal one, they have one for work, or you know, they have an extra one, or they wind up giving one to the kids or, or whatever. And I know a lot of people give their kids a cell phone so they can keep track of them. Like I know a guy that I dated a long time ago and he got his son a phone, I think when he was 10 or 11, which sounded really young. And back then it wasn't even that common, but it was because his son had to take public transit and he wanted to keep track of where he was and be able to contact him. And you know, cause sometimes he'd miss the bus or something and anyways. So I get why people want their kids to have them, but Michelle's home all the time, she homeschooled, so she doesn't need it. But anyway, so I heard that in a US survey, 42% of kids 10 years old had their own cell phone. By 12 years old, it was 71%. And by 14 years old, it was 91%. So pretty much everyone has a cell phone now. But um, like, yeah, I resisted it for a long time because I just didn't want any part of it. I know some people, they're glued to their phones and they're texting all the time. It's like, that is so not me. And I'm not somebody that likes gadgets and things because I, I'm kind of afraid of technology and I, I don't like change. So no, I mean, I really didn't want any part of it. And then since I've been home, I didn't need one, but now I'm driving again, I got my car back. So at least I know I've got a cell phone if, if needed. So, but yeah, just thought I'd do a little video on that in case there is anyone else like me who's a dinosaur and who uh, doesn't use cell phones. You know, if you did want just a basic budget phone, um, this one, I would recommend it as long as you're, you know, you're not looking for like the best quality camera and you're not looking for um, all these other things. Like one thing I will say, it is a bit slow. Like when you start it up, it says Samsung Galaxy for a long time. 
Like you're waiting and waiting. Like I know when I first set it up, oh my gosh, like I, I didn't think it even worked because it was just saying Samsung for what seemed like an eternity for like a good 10 minutes. I'm like, wow, is this literally all it does? But then, you know, you go through and the setup and everything. And for all the little things where, you know, it's like, do you want to sync your data, blah, 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 like, no, 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 I want no part of that. I want, I don't want to share my info with ads and I don't, like, no, I, I, a lot of things I've just like opted out of. Um, Cause yeah, I just, just want it for the basics. But anyways, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.